Hello there folks. This quick video is going to show you how to set up communications to go from a Redline HMI to talk to one of their uh, Cub 5 panel meters. I've always wanted to build a video showing how to do this and so uh, I got some time here so I thought I'd make this quick video. First of all the Cub 5 panel meter I'm talking about uh, happens to be uh, on Redline's website. Go to a different page here. Of course, this way. Uh, of course. So, uh, one of these Cub 5 panel meters right here is what I have. Cub 5R is what I'm using. And uh, this particular unit happens to have a 485 card on the back of it. Keep in mind that the 485 card uh, has a small RJ11 uh, pinout on it. And of course, on the Redline HMI products, they have an RJ45 jack for their 485 comms. So uh, I am using for this test a special cable made from Red Lion. Uh, the cable I'm using is the CBL RLC00 cable, which plugs into the back of the panel meter and directly plugs into the 485 port on my HMI. I also have open the uh, documentation for this uh, meter, uh, just so I can look at it for uh, communication settings and how to set this particular unit up. So to build my program in Crimson, uh, I'm going to go over to communications on the left and I'm going to go to the RS-485 COM port. I'm going to hit the pick button here and I'm going to come down and I'm going to go to the Red Lion uh, manufacturer selection here. And under Red Lion, I'm going to choose the RLC instrument particular driver. I'll click OK on that. Uh, this is normally the default baud rate setting, so I'll leave that alone there. However, over here on the left-hand side where it currently says Dev 1 or Develop Device 1, I'm going to change the name of this to Cub, oops, Cub 5R, for instance, underscore number 1, because this is going to be drop number 1 on my network, which means right here I'm going to change this to drop number 1. Down here for the device, Hit the pole down here and choose the appropriate device I'm talking to, which is the Cub 5L or Cub 5R unit. And that's what's part of the listing here. Cub 5R is the one that I happen to have here. So that's perfectly fine there. I've got this guy set up in the abbreviated protocol mode. You can do full or abbreviated. I'm going to leave it in abbreviated. So that takes care of setting up the communication section. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my data tag section here. And under data tags, I'm going to create a tag. Maybe I want to look at what the current count is in this particular unit. So I hit a new tag here, and I'm going to rename this one count, for instance. I'm going to map this to a register that resides within the Cub 5R. Notice how this screen comes up. And the question would be is, well, what, what is the uh, value, or what do you put in this field? So if I go back to the Crimson Manual, and if I slide all the way down multiple pages here on the manual, uh, all the way down below here, it should give me, aha, here we go. Uh, on this particular page here, I can see that the ID identifier for my counter A is letter A as an apple. So I'm gonna go back here to Crimson, and I'll just put right here letter A, hit enter. Notice it took it. If I go to my display page, here's my display page. As you know, the way I always like to test comps to see if it's working, see if communication is working. I'm going to grab my count tag here, drag it on the screen, make this guy be a little bigger like this, and I'll make it bigger and I'll bold it like so. Now, I'm going to go ahead and download this to my HMI device here. I happen to be using the web browser for this unit as well. So if I just create a new tag here, put in the local IP address of this HMI.20, click the web server, and I can see right now my count is set to zero. However, if I go to the uh, actual meter I'm using, and team, just to show you something else here, go back to the wiring of this particular unit, so you can see how I have it wired up as far as my discrete input signal. Uh, I'm currently just taking my V plus into my input A here, is what I'm doing here on this application. Uh, that's I'm doing this wiring here, but I'm going from V plus to my input A on this particular guy. And if you look at the HMI screen here, if I go ahead and just tap on here a few times, you can see that my counter is currently counting up on my particular screen. Now this meter is not only a counter, 
but it is also a uh, rate meter as well. So if I wanted to make a tag to look at the current rate, go back to Crimson, I'll create another tag here. I'll go to data tags on the left, click new. I'm gonna call this one rate. Now the question would be is, what tag would I look at in the meter to find the rate? So I'll once again go back to the panel five meter, uh, manual I should say. And if I slide down here a few pages, back to this listing right here, it appears that the ID identifier letter C will give me the rate here. So if I go back here and make this, map this to the Cub 5, put in a letter C here, hit enter. And now if I go over here to display page, I can drag out here my rate field, and then I'll cheat, I'll right click, make this guy the same size as this guy. And then I'll right click again, I'll say copy from, all formatting this guy right here. Drag that out here like this. And if I go ahead and download that to the particular meter, go back to the web page so we can see what's actually happening. Happening, And you can see the count's at 37. If I tap that fast enough here, you'll see that the actual rate changes on the screen. Once I stop, it's gonna slow down and it goes to zero. Also, you notice that on the screen here, I've got a 67 for the value. If I hit the reset button on my panel meter, it goes to zero and so does the actual screen here. Once again, if I go ahead and tap a few more times here, you can see that shows up. Now, if I wanted to put a reset button maybe on the screen here to reset the value on the panel meter, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over to data tags over here on this side, and uh, I'm gonna create a flag tag, and I'm gonna call this one reset. And now to reset this guy, I'm gonna go back to the manual here. Let's take a look here. I wanna reset counter A here. So I'm gonna use the R command with the letter A, I believe to reset my counter A. So I go back to here, hit the pull down, map this to the R A letter. All right, then I'll go here to my display pages. And what I might do to uh, make a reset happen on the screen here, I'm gonna drag this out here so you can see it like this. And you can of course make this data entry. Let me make that bigger so we can see it a little bigger on our web server. so and then I'm going to use a push button maybe for this to uh, occur so uh, maybe I'll go to uh, indicators uh, actually we'll use how about one of these two state toggles we'll just use one of these guys to manually turn on and off make this a little bigger I'm going to double click on this to bring up the properties and I want this thing to be controlled control the reset guy right there notice this area around here that's not being used if I turn off the aspect ratio, it fills in regardless of that. I'll click OK. Let's download this and let's take a look and see how it works, folks. Go back to the web browser. There you can see. And if I go ahead and take my screen input signal and count, you can see it count up. You can see my rate cranking along. I can't seem to get very fast here, team, but if I slow it down. Slow down the rate a little bit. So you can see that there. And then if I turn this on, I should be able to reset the counter, and you saw it go right back off. And once again, from the HMI, I can simply reset. So that's a quick example, folks, of how you can use an HMI to talk to a red line panel meter. The key important thing here is to make sure you have the appropriate correct cable to go from your panel meter to your appropriate uh, red line device. It's always best to purchase these cables rather than try to make your own because I always wire mine wrong. So it's best to just buy the cable and do it that way. And then use the user manual to find out what particular value you're looking for. You can do all kinds of cool things inside these panel meters. Just, just a quick show and tell of how you can get the count and a rate into a particular HMI. So just thought I'd show that to you today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, folks.